you could be forgiven for thinking that for any new system, the chosen launch title should be solid, tested to a fault, showcasing what the new technology is all about. They can be primitive and simple, as long as they're fun, and yet we have baseball. This was a launch title in all regions. Now, in North America and Japan, this makes sense, but as a European, I'm not sure why they even bothered releasing this game at all over here. Rounders is a game that kids play in school, and it wasn't until 1990 that we got a soccer game. Leaving all that aside, this game is not the best way to experience the sport for the first time, or at all. Starting the single player game gives you a grand total of two options, USA mode or Japan mode. The only difference being the generic names given to your players. USA mode allows you to choose a team led by Mario or Luigi, despite the fact that they're Italian characters designed by Japanese game developers. The sprites don't even look like those guys, even though it's clearly Mario pitching on the cover art. The close-up sprites we get are all right, although it would be nice to see the game from the pitcher's perspective when you're not batting. You can alter your throws with curve, but I don't think it makes a difference. Laziness is all over this one. When you're taken to the overhead field view, it looks like something from the Atari 2600. I know the Game Boy was low res, but it was capable of a lot more than this. The AI here will destroy you, fielding and batting. I don't think it's possible to beat this game. At least, I don't want to try. Your fielders move like they're playing on the moon. The slowdown is ridiculous, but this doesn't help you catch the ball at all. You just get longer to watch your fielders get nowhere near it. Also, you can't always automatically move the closest player, but some off-screen character that you need to guess the location of. Or even sometimes, two or three players. Or none. Occasionally, they'll just get stuck on the boundary for some reason. This game is an absolute mess, which brings me back to my initial point. Was this game tested at all? I find it hard to comprehend why Nintendo would choose to kick off their handheld with this. The best thing about baseball is the animation you get when you get trounced, which you will. Your assorted failures line up apologetically for their fans, who proceed to lob their garbage, hitting the guy at the end with more accuracy than your fielders can manage. We can only hope that they were throwing copies of this cartridge.